Welcome to the District Update, where we speak with a guest about important issues happening at Garden City Public Schools. This edition of the District Update, we have Kathleen Mormon, Virtual Academy Coordinator. And welcome to the District Update, Kathleen. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us about the Virtual Academy and what it's about? Well, the Virtual Academy is a 21 credit high school diploma program. We are the Phoenix, proudly, and uh, we are a year-round virtual school that um, where students can come enroll and complete classes online as needed. Um, we service ninth grade through adults. We also service some sixth through eighth graders, but those are on a as needed basis and they have to be approved through the superintendent's office. Students um, must have their own computer and they must have internet service in order to enroll. The program that we use is called Edgenuity and it is an online program, clearly. And uh, the, so the instructors are not live, everything is video recorded, but that gives students an opportunity as well to go back and look at different instruction things that they may have may not have been very clear to them, so. So can you tell us how would a person enroll in the Virtual Academy program? If a person were, wanted to enroll in the Virtual Academy, if there are an active student in the district, then they would go to their counselor, meet with their counselor, and the counselor would then speak with that student, speak with their parent, and if they thought that this was what was best for the student, then their counselor would, would come through me and we would start that process. If they are not currently enrolled, then they would go to the Educational Support Center and start that process there. If they do go there and they're an adult, they would need uh, current ID. They also need um, their current shot records, the MMR and the TDAP. And if for some reason they don't have insurance, or they can go to the health insurance and that would be based on income. So if they're already enrolled, going to school, they can transfer into your academy, is that is yes. what you're saying? and they can transfer in year-round. Uh, the summers, they're not required to work. However, we strongly encourage them to work through the summer as well. Um, our facility is only open Monday through Thursday during the summer, however. So can anyone enroll into the Virtual Academy program? If a student lives within USD 457 district, then anyone can enroll. If they are out of district, then they would have to write a letter to the superintendent's office um, requesting to enroll and explaining their circumstances, and then Dr. Carlin would either approve or deny that. So do most students start their high school career or their career through the virtual academy, or do they transition into the virtual academy? Most students do transition into the virtual academy for reasons that are usually beyond their control. Um, if a student were to start their, their high school career at the virtual academy and they worked full time year round on school, then they could finish in about two to two and a half years. Sounds good. Uh, so what type of people are looking to get into the virtual academy? There are lots of reasons why students would enroll in the Virtual Academy. Um, for our adults especially, they usually have families, full-time jobs, and they're looking to advance maybe on the pay scale at their job, and a high school diploma is the number one way to do that. Um, students might have a medical illness. They, we've had students who've had cancer, students who were on dialysis or perhaps wheelchair bound, and the flexibility of our program allows them to continue their high school. Um, we also get a lot of students that suffer from social anxiety and being in a large environment uh, is very, causes anxiety for them. So this is a way for them to de-stress a little and work at their own pace, so. I know you talked about getting through the school in about two and a half years if they get start to the end. Is there a graduation ceremony that students can go through if they do get through the program? Or when they get through the program, I yeah, guess. Yeah, and we have a wonderful um, graduation ceremony. It usually takes place the week before Garden City High School. Uh, it's usually a morning ceremony. Our date and times haven't been determined for this school year yet, um, but it usually takes place at either Garden City Community College or at Horse or at Clifford Hope, excuse me, Clifford Hope Auditorium. And our students can invite as many people as they want. Um, we usually have between 30 and 60 students graduating, depending on the year, and that graduation is combined with the Garden City Alternative High School. I I know um, we've covered a lot in our time together. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we go? Just if you would like to get in touch with me about um, enrolling in the Virtual Academy, you can contact me at 620-805-8615. 
You could also email me at kmormon at gckschools.com. You can check the district's webpage, and we also have a Facebook link. And we've been speaking with Kathleen Mormon, Virtual Academy Coordinator. And thank you for watching the District Update, where we speak with a guest about important issues happening at Garden City Public Schools. I'm Roy Cessna. Have a great day.